सो जय हिंद ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन आई एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू मनीष कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग एट अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज सो टुडे माय अनदर इन कॉम्प्लेक्स टॉपिक ऑफ यूर थर्ड दैट इज डिसीजन ट्री लर्निंग सो सेवरल टाइम्स वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट की वॉट इज मशीन लर्निंग सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड की मशीन लर्निंग is a type of uh, uh, learning that we will we will use to teach to machine so that machine can suggest machine can predict on the basis of the training right uh, that that is explicitly programmed that we have discussed several times also we have discussed about ki there are several types of learning techniques basically supervised learning technique unsupervised learning technique and reinforcement learning so once again this decision tree is used to define basically used to define uh, used to represent discrete valued target function okay so we have studied that ki firstly we will just decide ki what is our target function hai na on the basis of some approximation we will do so let us let me start so today i am going to discuss about decision tree learning okay so firstly i will introduce you so that you can easily understood that what is a decision tree it's that is that is its representation okay i will discuss about the representation of the decision tree ki how we will represent it okay then we will see with the help of an example approximate problem for decision tree learning okay uh, how this decision tree can be made on the basis of the algorithm that we will see that uh, one of the algorithm that is id3 famous algorithm of decision tree id3 algorithm i will show you the example today which attribute is the best classifier in decision tree that i will show you best classifier because as a name suggest ki we are going to make a tree so that tree will consist of number of nodes you all know that leaf nodes internal nodes and we will make a tree so how we will proceed so we will see which is the best classifier okay with the help of an example then at last i will discuss some issues of a decision tree okay so what is a decision tree it is a method we can call it a method for approximating discrete valued target functions okay there are number of functions we have studied previously also so basically it is a method for approximating discrete valued target function theek okay? hai there are two types basically we will categorize into two types continuous and discrete so it is basically used for discrete valued target function theek okay, hai na in which that uh, learned function is represented by a decision tree in which that function learned function is represented by a decision tree right so this is the way how we can represent a decision tree so i have taken a famous example uh, the number of examples were given and attributes that example will consist of that data set will contributes uh, that consist of some attributes okay so this is a decision tree looks like a decision tree hai na so i have shown this this, uh, this figure the decision tree for the concept play tennis and the concept is whether i can play tennis on weekends ठीक है, so there are some attributes are given. On the basis of that attribute, we will decide whether we can play tennis or not. ठीक है, so you have seen that this outlook is the best classifier. Outlook is the best classifier that we have chosen on the basis of some algorithm, right? So that outlook have three values: sunny, number one; second is overcast; third is rain. That is represented in this. edge okay another attribute is humidity humidity has two values high and normal theek hai overcast has only one value yes that rain outlook is called to rain then wind is blowing strong there is no possibility of playing tennis if the wind is blowing weak there is a possibility of playing tennis yes so this is how we can represent the decision tree theek hai to just 
वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न कि हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मेक दिस डिसीजन ट्री हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू हाउ शुड आई कम टू नो दिस आउटलुक विल बी अ रूट नोट ऑफ दिस डिसीजन ट्री ठीक है दिस इज अ चाइल्ड ह्यूमिनिटी इज अ चाइल्ड विंड इज चाइल्ड है ना हाउ हाउ वी आर जस्ट फिट दीज एट्रीब्यूट हेयर तो देर इज अ कैलकुलेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एलगोरथम वी विल सी ओके सो डिसीजन ट्री इज यूज टू क्लासीफाई द इंस्टांसिस डिसीजन ट्री इज यूज टू क्लासीफाई द इंस्टांसिस बाय शॉर्टिंग दैम डाउन द ट्री फ्रॉम रूट टू सम लीफ नोट दैट आई हैव शोन यू बिफोर ठीक है इन द डायग्राम है ना तो आउटलुक इफ आउटलुक इज सनी एंड ह्यूमिडिटी इज नॉर्मल देन देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ प्लेइंग टेनिस राइट इफ आउटलुक ओवरकास्ट इज येस देन देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ प्लेइंग टेनिस राइट If outlook rain is equal to rain and wind is blowing weak, then there is a possibility of playing tennis, right? So how we can represent this? This we will see in a in just in a few minutes. Okay. So each node in the tree represents the test. This you have to keep in mind. Each node in the tree represents the test of some attributes, okay, of the instances, and each branch represents the outcome. ठीक है तो ब्रांच इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द आउटकम दीज आर द आउटकम्स एंड दीज आर द टेस्ट टेस्ट केसेस दीज आर द टेस्ट एंड दीज आर द आउटकम्स दीज आर द आउटकम ओके तो जस्ट कीप इन माइंड कि नोड इन द ट्री रिप्रेजेंट द टेस्ट है ना एंड द ब्रांच रिप्रेजेंट द आउटकम ठीक है एंड वी नो दैट दैट एंड नोड दैट एक्सटर्नल नोड दैट इज अ लीफ नोड दैट वी कॉल्ड लीफ नोड एंड नोड लीफ नोड it will represent the class label class label class label means yes or no whether we can play tennis or no that is a label yes or no okay uh, an instance is classified by starting the root node as we have seen this is a root node that instance is started by a root node of a tree okay we will test the attribute okay then we will move down to the tree branch corresponding to the value of the attribute in the given example and we will repeat this process we will repeat this process okay so this is a whole tree this is a sub tree sub tree this is a sub tree okay so we will repeat this process and at last a decision tree is represented okay so this process is then repeated we will repeat this process from root to next node then next node sub tree is constructed for the sub tree rooted at the new node okay so decision tree technically uh, definition point of view we will define it like a decision tree represents a disjunction of conjunction of constraints so we can also represent we can also represent that tree in form of some uh, in some form of some equation in that is shown here some in the form of some expression a equation can be represented how it is represented it is represented as disjunction of conjunction keep in mind so you have studied this topics this concept in discrete mathematics you have a uh, disjunction and conjunction which are represented by these symbols a uh, disjunction and conjunction where we will use and and or theek hai so i will just represent you with an example see so for example sunny and humidity is equal to normal theek hai sunny humidity is equal to normal outlook is equal to overcast मतलब दीज आर द एक्सप्रेशन वेर द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ प्लेइंग टेनिस देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ प्लेइंग टेनिस सी सनी ह्यूमिडिटी इज कॉल्ड टू नॉर्मल सी इन दिस डायग्राम सनी ह्यूमिडिटी सनी ह्यूमिडिटी नॉर्मल इज कॉल्ड टू यस देन देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ प्लेइंग टेनिस राइट सो इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन एक्सप्रेशन ऑल्सो आउटलुक इज कॉल्ड टू ओवर कास्ट देन देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ प्लेइंग टेनिस दिस इज एन एक्सप्रेशन सी आउटलुक overcast then there is a possibility of playing tennis right third expression is outlook is equal to rain sorry this is end and wind is equal to weak then there is a possibility of playing tennis so this is these are disjunction and conjunction of the constraints right so outlook is equal to rain and wind is equal to weak see outlook rain and wind is equal to weak then there is a possibility of playing tennis so we can represent this decision tree in the form of expression also so we can define it ki we can say that that decision tree can be represented 
एज डिजंक्शन ऑफ कंजंक्शन ऑफ कंस्टेंट राइट राइट स्टूडेंट ऑफ द एट्रीब्यूट एट्रीब्यूट वैल्यूज ऑफ इंस्टांसिस ओके सो दीज आर एट्रीब्यूट एंड दीज आर द वैल्यूज ऑफ दो एट्रीब्यूट दैट पर्टिकुलर इंस्टांसिस ठीक है राइट स्टूडेंट सो when we, when we have to use this problem when we the, when the decision tree is generally best suited which type of problems for which type of problem we can use a decision tree number 1 instances are represented by attribute value pair right number 1 is where the instances are represented by attribute value pairs there we can use decision tree for example for example wind is equal to strong or weak theek okay? hai तो द पर्टिकुलर एट्रीब्यूट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू आइदर स्ट्रॉन्ग और वीक तो विंड इज एन एट्रीब्यूट एंड द दिस एट्रीब्यूट वैल्यू देर आर टू वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस विंड एट्रीब्यूट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड वीक सो वेयर द इंस्टांस इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एट्रीब्यूट वैल्यू पेयर देयर वी कैन यूज डिसीजन ट्री रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके नंबर वन सेकेंड इज इफ द टारगेट फंक्शन हैज डिस्क्रीट आउटपुट दैट आई हैव डिफाइंड प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो फॉर डिस्क्रीट वैल्यूड टारगेट फंक्शन है ना तो वेन द टारगेट फंक्शन इज हैविंग डिस्क्रीट वैल्यू डिस्क्रीट में बोले तो जीरो एंड वन येस और नो देन वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिसीजन ट्री राइट बिकॉज वी नो दैट इन अ ट्री वी हैव लेफ्ट चाइल्ड एंड राइट चाइल्ड दैट इज देर आर टू ऑप्शन राइट एंड लेफ्ट इट मीन्स डिस्क्रीट आउटपुट वैल्यूज राइट थर्ड इज डिसंक्टिव डिस्क्रिप्शन में बी रिक्वायर्ड डिसंक्टिव as i have shown in the expression by showing ki or and and so if the if i can describe the those values like that or and and if the possibility of see hum, sunny and humidity is equal to normal theek hai rain and wind is equal to weak so these are the disjunction of conjunction constraints theek hai so if i can show like that then i can represent with the help of decision tree theek hai those problems can be represented as in the form of decision tree okay number 4 if the training data may contain some errors there are a possibility that a training data contains some error so if that data contains some error then we can represent that data with the help of decision tree theek hai it means that decision tree methods are robust to error this point is important right number 5 if the training data may contain missing attribute if there is some any uh, any value uh, that uh, that attribute has miss value matlab the value is empty then we can also represent with the help of decision tree there i can use a decision tree learning representation okay so these are the five area uh, five uh, prob uh, problems where i can represent the this we can where i can use this representation okay so decision tree learning has been applied to problems such as learning to classify medical patient by their disease if i need to classify the medical patient on the basis of the diseases if i if i want to classify some equipment is malfunctions by their cause there i can use decision tree hai na thirdly if a loan applicant by the likelihood of defaulting on payment ठीक है देर आई कैन यूज दिस मैथोलॉजी डिसीजन ट्री रिप्रेजेंटेशन कैन बी यूज ठीक है इट मीन्स दैट ईच प्रॉब्लम वॉट आर दीज प्रॉब्लम दीज ऑल आर क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम सो वी कैन से दैट फॉर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम विच आर हैविंग दिस डिस्क्रीट सेट ऑफ वैल्यूज वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिसीजन ट्री लर्निंग मैथड ओके सो क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम कैन बी रिप्रेजेंट यूजिंग दिस ठीक सो नेक्स्ट no what is the basic algorithm for decision tree algorithm that we commonly use see so the and that algorithm is called as id3 algorithm id3 algorithm is used for implementation of decision tree theek okay? hai there are number of algorithms there are number of algorithm but commonly used is id3 theek okay? hai so by id3 algorithm and one of the successor of id3 algorithm called as c4.2 theek okay? hai so core algorithm is id3 okay so let me discuss that id3 algorithm so id3 stands for iterative dichotomizer 3 theek hai so it is a precursor to the c c4.5 algorithm we can say precursor as i have showed that ki and it's there are two algorithms id3 and c4.5 so there are two algorithms but i am going to show this algorithm today 
with the help of an example. Okay. So, this IDT algorithm was invented by Rose Quillen in 1975, as I have stated here. Okay. And what we are going to do, we are going to generate a decision tree from a given data set. Okay. Means we are going to classify, right? And the resulting tree is used to classify future samples. Okay. As we know that how we are going to train our algorithm, we are uh, there are two types of data, training data and testing data. Firstly, we will train, then we will test the our model. Okay. Similarly. So, this is my algorithm, ID3 algorithm. So, I fastly just review it. So, ID3, this is the name of the ID3, where we will pass these three parameters. We will give some examples, some target attributes, and some attributes on the basis which we will find out on the basis where we what we will find, we are fine, we are fine to classify the problem. So, number one, what we will do? We just want to firstly we will start from a root node. So firstly we have to decide how we are going to decide root node. Firstly we have to decide the root node. So the problem comes how we will decide root node. So I just want to explain you there are two important values that we will find. One is entropy and another is information gain. So for each attribute we are going to calculate the entropy and information gain, right? So whose whosoever attribute having the highest information gain that will be inserted as a root node that I have I, that I will show you just uh, so firstly I just review this algorithm firstly what we will do we will create the root node okay if examples the given example consists of positive value then we will return the single node whose labeled is plus positive example plus negative example means negative if the example is negative then we will return the single root node with the label minus okay if the attribute is empty that as i have show you this decision tree representation can be done if we have we are having some missing value it means that there is a possibility of that attribute having no value if so this third is if attribute is empty then we will return the single node tree root there is only one node tree root na, with label most common value of the target attribute okay so we will see ki which is the commonly appearing attribute we will use that value of, of that particular attribute okay then otherwise if otherwise means no positive example no negative and no empty then what we will do we will begin finding the best classifier example okay how we are going to find the best classifier by finding the entropy and information gain. So, the attribute having a highest information gain will be classified as a best classifier. Okay. Then we will insert that best classifier as a root node. Okay. So, this, this will we will repeat for each and every attribute we will find these two values. Firstly, entropy because for calculating the information gain we need to calculate the entropy. Right. And for each example we will repeat these values okay so let me show you with the help of an example that is that is uh, that is more appropriate to understand and right? practically understand so i have written here the best attribute is the one with this, which is having the highest information gain so we will find this value okay so what is the best classifier we will find the up statistical property that is called as information gain okay now so in that information gain must have highest value so what is information gain? Information gain is a type of measure. Okay. How well a given attribute separates the training example according to the target classification. So for this separation, we will use to find the value information gain. Okay. So this our algorithm, ID3 algorithm will use the information gain measure. Okay. To select among the among those number of attributes. Right. And we will proceed. So so for finding the information gain, we need to find the entropy. What is entropy? Entropy is a measure, measures the impurity of a collection of examples. Okay? And it is represented by this equation. Entropy S is given by minus P plus plus indicate the positive examples, minus indicate the negative examples. P log of 2. Keep in mind, the log is to the base 2. P plus minus P log 2 P minus. Okay? P plus means the proportion of positive example. P minus means the proportion of negative example. Okay. We will calculate it. Okay. So, I just explained you with the help of an example. For example, uh, 
let me show you an example. Where is an example? Yeah, this is a given data set. See, you know, this is my example. So here are the attributes that I have in a starting slide. I have just show the decision tree representation. So these are the attribute. How many attributes are there? Outlook, temperature, humidity, and wind. Okay. And there are two classes for this play tennis. No and yes. Classification has been done. Okay. So these are my examples D1 to D14. So we have on the basis of this 14 example, we need to make the decision tree. Okay. So my this attribute outlook has how many values? This sunny, overcast, rain. Sunny, overcast, and rain. Three values of this particular attribute outlook. Temperature, hot, mild, and cool. Three values of this attribute temperature. Humidity, high, and normal. There are two values of this attribute. Wind, weak, and strong. Two values of this wind attribute. On the basis of that, we will classify. We can play tennis or not. Okay. So, with the help of this example, I just try to show you how we are going to calculate the entropy and information gain so that we can make the decision tree okay so <clears throat> so in our example firstly how many examples are given 14 examples are given just i have shown you okay on some boolean concept think okay? discrete valued concept including nine there are nine positive examples and five negative examples okay see Uh, negative examples one second negative example third four and five there are five negative examples right positive examples this is positive example one positive example two positive example three positive example four positive example five positive example six seven eight and nine okay so we have Nine positive examples and two, three, four, and five. Five negative examples. Okay, nine positive examples and five negative examples. So on the basis of that, I have calculated the entropy. So how we can represent it? Entropy nine plus and five minus nine positive, five negative. So on the basis of that formula, I have used, I have put the values here using that formula. See. P plus log 2P minus P minus P log 2 to the log P. Okay. 9 by 14. How many total examples are given? 14. So 9 by 14 log to the base 2. 9 by 14 minus 5 by 14. 5 is negative. Hana? See. Negative log P to the base 2. Hana? 5 by 14. So after calculation, I get this value. 9.940. Right. Now, just keep in mind if the entropy is the entropy is zero, we need not to calculate if all the members of that belong to the same class. Okay, I need not to do any calculation. Okay, see if <coughs> sorry, if for example, if in the given example we have only nine positive examples again, no negative example is there. We need not to do any such calculation. We just put zero here, right? The entropy will be 1 when the collection contains equal number of positive and negative example. Okay. For example, 9 plus and 9 minus. For example, if in the given data set, the situation will be like this. We have 9 positive examples and 9 negative examples. Then we need not to calculate this value form using this formula. We just put 1. So this is the shortcut that you will keep in mind. If you want to calculate keeping the 9 plus and 9 minus, this formula will give 1. So, that, that are the key point that we have to keep in mind. Okay? And if the collection contains unequal number, positive and negative, then we need to either entropy, then we need to calculate the value. And that value will lie between 0 and 1. And in our case, 9 positive, 5 negative, and the value is 0 0.940. It will always lie between 0 and 1. Okay? So, we have calculated the entropy. This is the this graphical representation. This function related to the Boolean classification as the proportion P plus positive example varies between 0 to 1. So, this is shown here. So, we will know that that entropy will lie between 0 to 1. 
ठीक है ना वैल्यू विल लाइफ फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन ठीक तो देन वी विल आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग द एंट्रोपी वी विल कैलकुलेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन गेन ठीक है तो इन्फॉर्मेशन गेन इज कैलकुलेटेड आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द एंट्रोपी एंड द फॉर्मुला इज लाइक दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन गेन ऑफ दैट एस कॉमा ए एंट्रोपी दैट वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड माइनस समेशन वी बिलोंग्स टू वैल्यूज मतलब फॉर ऑल एट्रीब्यूट वी विल कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू एस वी मॉड ऑफ एस वी अपॉन एस एंट्रोपी एस वी ठीक है दिस इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन गेन फॉर्मुला हाउ यू कैलकुलेटेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन गेन फॉर द वैल्यू विंड ठीक है ना फॉर द वैल्यू विंड विंड हैविंग टू विंड एट्रीब्यूट हैविंग टू वैल्यूज वीक एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग सी विंड दिस इज विंड विंड एट्रीब्यूट हैविंग टू वैल्यूज वीक एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग सी हाउ मेनी वीक्स आर देयर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ठीक है एट वीक्स वीक ठीक है एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ठीक है सो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव कैलकुलेटेड ओवरऑल वैल्यू तो हाउ मेनी एग्जांपल्स आर देयर फोर्टीन आउट ऑफ दोज फोर्टीन नाइन आर पॉजिटिव एंड फाइव आर नेगेटिव ठीक है फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर एट्रीब्यूट विंड हाउ मेनी एट्रीब्यूट आर हैविंग वीक वैल्यू सिक्स प्लस एंड टू नेगेटिव ठीक है सिक्स प्लस एंड टू नेगेटिव हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू सिक्स प्लस टू नेगेटिव सी वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग फॉर वीक कीपिंग माइंड वीक है ना तो वीक विंड वीक वन वीक 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 प्ले टेनिस नो इज वीक 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 इज टू वीक 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 सी है ना देर आर दिज क्लासेज प्ले टेनिस इज देर आर टू हैविंग वीक सी वी हैव रिटर्न हेयर टू नेगेटिव ठीक है सिक्स पॉजिटिव लेट एस सी वीक दिस इज वीक हैविंग यस वन राइट वीक यस टू वीक यस थ्री वीक यस फोर वीक यस फाइव वीक यस सिक्स ठीक है सिक्स प्लस एंड टू नेगेटिव सिक्स प्लस एंड टू नेगेटिव एस वीक सिमिलरली वी विल कैलकुलेट फॉर दिस एस स्ट्रॉन्ग थ्री पॉजिटिव एंड थ्री नेगेटिव विल बी देयर स्ट्रॉन्ग सी स्ट्रॉन्ग स्ट्रॉन्ग नो वन स्ट्रॉन्ग स्ट्रॉन्ग नो टू वन टू स्ट्रॉन्ग स्ट्रॉन्ग दिस थ्री थ्री ठीक है देन स्ट्रॉन्ग विद यस स्ट्रॉन्ग विद यस स्ट्रॉन्ग यस वन स्ट्रॉन्ग यस टू स्ट्रॉन्ग यस थ्री तो थ्री पॉजिटिव एंड थ्री नेगेटिव तो विल पुट हेयर थ्री प्लस एंड थ्री नेगेटिव ठीक है राइट देन वी विल कैलकुलेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन गेन ऑफ दिस एट्रीब्यूट विंड हाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट तो वी विल फाइंड द एंट्रोपी देन वी विल कैलकुलेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन तो ओवरऑल एंट्रोपी वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फोर तो हाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन गेन देर आर टोटल एट फॉर वीक वीक ना सिक्स देर आर टोटल सिक्स प्लस टू एट ना तो वील पुट एट आउट ऑफ टोटल हाउ मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स फोर्टीन एंट्रोपी ऑफ वीक ठीक है माइनस सिक्स अपॉन फोर्टीन फॉर स्ट्रॉन्ग थ्री प्लस थ्री सिक्स आउट ऑफ टोटल फोर्टीन सिक्स अपॉन फोर्टीन एंट्रोपी ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग राइट तो वी विल कैलकुलेट दिस एंट्रोपी ओवरऑल एंट्रोपी पॉइंट नाइन फोर वी विल कैलकुलेट द एंट्रोपी ऑफ दिस वीक इट कम्स आउट टू बी पॉइंट एट इलेवन पॉइंट एट वन वन माइनस सिक्स अपॉन फोर्टीन मल्टीप्लाई वील कैलकुलेट द एंट्रोपी ऑफ एस स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट कम्स आउट टू बी वन आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन वी विल गेट द वैल्यू दिस ओके विल गेट द वैल्यू पॉइंट जीरो फोर एट ठीक है दिस इज हाउ फॉर ईच एट्रीब्यूट वी फॉर ईच पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू ऑफ दैट एट्रीब्यूट वील गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द इन्फॉर्मेशन गेन ठीक है फॉर दिस एग्जाम्पल तो आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग तो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड विच एट्रीब्यूट इज द बेस्ट क्लासीफायर तो सी एस नाइन 
प्लस फाइव फिफ्टीन फॉर दिस ह्यूमिडिटी ठीक है तो ह्यूमिडिटी इज हैविंग टू वैल्यूज हाई एंड नॉर्मल ठीक है ह्यूमिडिटी हैविंग टू वैल्यूज हाई एंड नॉर्मल एंड द वैल्यू हैविंग हाई हाउ मेनी यस एंड हाउ मेनी नेगेटिव थ्री प्लस एंड फोर माइनस वी विल कैलकुलेट इन द सेम मैनर तो जस्ट बिफोर आई हैव शोन यू अबाउट दिस विंड the calculation has been shown for this wind attribute na wind attribute are having two values weak and strong so we have calculated 6 plus 2 minus 3 plus 3 minus theek hai so i have calculated here hai na so uh, this is point 811 entropy of as strong is 1 theek hai so point 811 entropy of strong is 1 then i will calculate the information gain after calculating the entropy the information gains comes out to be 0.48 gain for this wind theek hai similarly gain for this humidity will be calculated like this theek hai for each value of that particular attribute we will calculate the entropy then information gain theek hai so the information gain values for all attributes are i have just summarize here For outlook is equal to 2.46, uh, uh, sorry 0.246. Humidity is 0.151. Wind is 0.048. Temperature is 0.029. So, which is the highest value here? 0.246. It means that this outlook will be my root node of this decision tree. ठीक है? See, this is the root node. similarly similarly we will calculate for each instance for each attribute theek hai to which attribute should be tested here again we will calculate the information gain right there are no possibility for g plus and zero minus it means positive example then i i so i have written here yes here three positive and two negative i need to be calculate here so we will calculate the information gain theek hai for the remaining attribute and after the calculation see as sunny these are the these are the examples which comes in as sunny i have to calculate the gain of humidity temperature wind calculate 0.970 0.570 which value is maximum 0.970 it means this humidity attribute will be set there sorry humidity sorry sunny sunny attribute will be set there For this rain, as rain, again I have calculated 0.019, 0.019, 0.970, which is having the highest gain, 0.9, 0.970, as rain. Okay. So here I have put humidity, wind, put wind here, strong, weak, yes. So this is my final decision tree that I have shown in the first second slide representation. So how? so we need to calculate this two values entropy and information gain and this numerical values will be calculated okay so right so these are some issues which we have to keep in mind we will avoid overfitting the data overfitting means overfitting means when we much we very much depend on the training data when we depend on training data then this overfitting problem comes so this overfitting problem can be reduced using error pruning or rule post pruning methods okay <clears throat> issue is that what is the issue we have just discussed for continuous value attribute we 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 are just using this decision tree hai na if the value is real value then what happen no decision tree will be made second issue third is <clears throat> there is no alternative measure for selecting the attribute we, every time we need to calculate the information gain and entropy no other method theek okay? hai this is the third issue fourth is if missing attribute value this is also an this is also a issue because what happen if the value is missing then what we will consider the maximum number of times the value is occurring in that table we will consider that so this is an issue and number 5 is handling attribute with different cost different cost means we uh, always need to calculate this at uh, this uh, 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 this uh, information gain and entropy okay so these are the five issues that we will consider here okay so that's all for today so i think you all understood ki how we can make the decision tree and these are the issues that we challenge okay students thank you thank you very much thank you